Good day, backers, and welcome to our centipede unboxing video. For today's exercise, um, we, we need to let you know that you're going to have to have a knife, okay? You're going to have to have one of these in your house because we do not supply this, okay? You're going to have to have this yourself. A knife, a nail, I mean a razor blade, whatever, man. You're just going to need something sharp to cut the boxes open with. All right? Without further ado, this is how you will receive your centipede. Take your knife, slice the tape on the sides, but be careful when you're opening the top so you don't have too much knife sticking out and you damage the packaging, okay? Stick it out just, just a little bit. Cut that open. That's <laughs> a false out. <laughs> Anyways, we have a protective shield just in case that happens, okay? This protective shield is going to protect the packaging inside because uh, you don't want to mess it up because it's just so beautiful, all right? So there it is. There's your first look at your centipede in the package. Now, when you're unboxing, you're going to have to do a couple flips, all right? So what you want to do is just flip the box over like this and slide it out like that. Look, another protective shield just in case you open the wrong side. All right, so let's take a look, a little closer look at the box. It's a shoebox style package and it's all matte laminated, so it looks really nice. And then we have um, UV gloss hits on the centipede logos, the replicate logos. There's a shot of the back, some of the features more UV hits on the centipede logo side some features and that's even look at the bottom all right so what you want to do is lay it down and simply remove the top lid all right just like that top lid is off now flip flip and lift there you go here is all the the uh, styrofoam that is protecting your centipede now this is important so pay attention you're gonna want to pull the back off and lo and behold it came out already because we've done this video about 12 times but <laughs> inside here is where you're going to find your exclusive atari keychain all right it's going to be stashed up here like this it's going to have a piece of tape so it's not going to fall out or anything so just don't throw away this this l-shaped piece all right because that's where your keychain is don't forget we don't want you throwing away your keychain it's awesome all right now from here, you can go ahead and remove your centipede. All right, reach back inside, and you're also gonna have another poly bag full of goodies. Get rid of this stuff. And let's look at first what's in the poly bag. So in here is your owner's manual that you're gonna wanna read from cover to cover in every language. Um, a charge cable, which is really important. You're gonna have to pay attention in a minute for some more information on that. And of course, some mini coins, just for fun. Now, manual, okay, check, all right. This isn't really super, super important. Get your cable out, get it ready. Simply pull the bag down to get your centipede out of the bag. And you're gonna notice there's a protective layer on the bezel, all right? Go ahead and peel that off. Just, just go ahead and just rip it right off, okay? On this bezel, we have a, a, a message for you. And the message is to charge before you play. This is really important because if you try to turn it on right now, it's not going to do anything because we shipped with the batteries fully exhausted. Um, we have lithium ion batteries that are built in. Test Lab advised us to make sure it was shipped that way. 
um, to avoid any problems with um, air shipping and, and stuff like that. So that's what we did. But it's really important that you know that you're going to have to plug in your unit. Switch to this camera angle. Back here where it says charge, just go ahead and plug plug this guy in here. Uh, it's not really that hard. There you go. Just like that. And, and let it charge uh, for five minutes before you turn it on. Okay? Five minutes has elapsed. <laughs> All right. Let's, let, let's take a quick look at the control panel on the top of the machine. All right? You have a power button. You have an LED charge indicator. And you have a volume, um, uh, volume control, for lack of better words. All right. So to turn on, hold down the power button for five seconds. Three, four, five. All right. And that's going to bring up the boot screens. So there's three boot screens. New Wave Toys, Replicate, and Atari, and then it'll get into the actual game. All right. Still booting. Takes a couple seconds, but it's worth it. Um, so there it is. It's on, and it's and it's running in a track mode. And this is actually the way um, we suggest that you you keep your machine running in a track mode. Keep it plugged in. Um, it's designed to be running basically all the time. So go ahead and just 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 keep it just keep it going. You know. Um, let's look quickly at some of the features of the machine. Uh, the final finished product. Um, the marquee turned out great. Colors look great heat transferred, nothing's going to scratch off, turned out real great. Um, the bezel is acrylic and it's printed from be reverse printed. So it's all printed from behind, nothing's ever going to scratch off. Also gives a really nice um, look of depth in the bezel. The screen turned out great, color matching is great, control panel turned out good. Um, the trackball, of course, uh, was our nemesis during this whole thing, works just great now we couldn't be more happy with it of course the fire button and the replica atari lava dome player one and player two buttons work your way down a little bit more is the die cast metal door right of course this opens up reveals a storage compartment that we call the stash box right there close that up on this side is your ui menu okay so this coin button turns on the ui menu and this button adds credits you look at some of the details on the coin door, we have a Atari pad printing on the front of the door. And then if you look really closely, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but we actually have little Atari logos on the actual um, buttons too. Okay, let's take a look at the UI menu. Again, press the right coin door button. Okay, it's gonna bring up the menu. The, the first option is screen brightness. You pump up player one or player two to the way you like it. I like it pumped up. Uh, here we go onto the marquee, on, off, just hit fire, on, off. Again, hit the credit button, we'll bring you down to the next, which is trackball sensitivity. We have it set at the factory at medium. We think that's the most arcade accurate way to play. However, some of you might like it slower and some of you might like it faster. <laughs> uh, okay, coin buttons fire and you're out and you're back into a track mode now again uh, track mode uh, is great you can leave it running in that the key here though is the highest scores and we've designed this to have non-volatile memory so in case the battery dies and in, in, in case uh, it gets shut off mid game doesn't matter it's gonna save your top 10 highest scores and um, I mean what more could you ask for, right, than saving the highest scores? So with that said, uh, why don't we jump into a real quick gameplay demo here. Again, this is how you add credits with the left coin door. Select player one or player two. I'm going to play one. And there you go. You're playing centipede. Okay, so let us know what you think. Looking forward to your comments and suggestions. Thanks again for all your support and your patience. Um, and, you know, we couldn't thank you enough. And um, 
we, you know, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all, all you great backers out there. So, so thanks again, and enjoy your centipede. How's that?